Hi guys, welcome to Merlin's Ears. We're back! <laughs> uh, it's been quite a while since we filmed anything. Uh, we haven't actually had any um, days out really since February when we went to the Nickelodeon Adventure at Lakeside. Uh, I'll put a link to that video somewhere around here. Um, the reason being is obviously because of coronavirus. Uh, the UK has been in lockdown since March. So consequently all of the, um, the theme parks and sort of zoos and you know the usual places we do visit have been closed unfortunately. Uh, we're not really kind of home vlog kind of guys so for, we didn't put anything out for the sake of doing it so we just kind of uh, had a bit of a break from the channel um, but uh, last week they announced that zoos and animal parks were allowed to reopen uh, including Chesington World Adventures so we've given it a week or so for it to settle down and um, we've looked at a couple of other people's vlogs just to see you know how it was and what sort of precautions they're taking and Chesington have had nothing but positive feedback so we feel pretty confident going there today uh, we've got our face masks we've got anti-back wipes we've got hand sanitizer we're fully prepared so we're just um, topping up on the petrol and then we're going to head over to Chesington and uh, we'll take you along on our adventure see you uh, so we're just approaching the car park to Chesington now, uh, we've come through the Explorer gate because the lodge gate isn't actually open for the zoo days, uh, so there is only the standard parking available which is £4 that you can pre-book online or you can uh, do when you arrive at the gate. So we're just approaching the car park now, by my understanding we will be getting our temperatures checked in the car before we park up, uh, I'll see if I can film that when we get round there. So it's about uh, 10 to 11 at the moment, uh, the park opened at 10, uh, it stays open until 4 today. It certainly does feel quieter at the moment, so hopefully that uh, uh, gives us an idea what the actual park's going to be like itself. So it looks like we're going in the Gorilla Car Park. Haven't come across anyone checking our temperatures yet though. So it turns out they're not actually checking the temperatures in the car anymore. I think last week they were. I'm sure I saw on someone's vlog that they had their temperature checked in the car. Anyway, so they must be doing it over at the turnstiles. We're heading that way now. In terms of the parking, nothing really seems to have changed. You can see the way the cars are parked behind us there. I don't personally think they're socially distanced parking. I think I've seen other people, other parks are doing it where they're leaving a space between. Um, it didn't seem that way at Chesington, but it's not very busy, so not too concerned about it to be honest it does seem very very quiet we're just heading up to the turnstiles now so i'll flip the camera around and you'll be able to see um, what the procedures are going into the park so we're just approaching the turnstiles now and you can see um, all the staff are wearing ppe and this is the point where we're going to get our temperatures checked here we go <laughs> Going first. <laughs> oh, Harry! You've got to hold on to that wristband, darling. <laughs> so we've just had our temperatures checked. So we've been given the all clear to go in. You can see the paw prints on the ground that they're using as social distance marker, uh, markers. And now we're just heading up to bag check. They've just let me just try and show you just trying to juggle all my bits so you get given one of these wristbands that you have to wear after you've had your temperature check done uh, just to confirm that you're um, you haven't got a fever or anything so we're going to put those on now and head up towards the turnstiles bag check done uh, just going up to the turnstiles to get our tickets and passes checked more paw print markers in the queue line So we just got into the park and the first thing you see is two sets of hand sanitizer stations just underneath the park map there. And so far so good, everybody's social distancing, it's not very busy, we just got through um, the temperature check, bag check, turnstiles in about five minutes. You know look there's another hand sanitizing station just there, just underneath Dragon's Fury. So so far so good, let's go see some animals. There's the first thing we can't do. Harry loves to come here and shake the gold coins to, rate, uh, to wake the dragon. But you can see there they've covered it up to just try and avoid people touching things unnecessarily. But hello sleepy dragon. <laughs> wake to the dragon Harry. <laughs> Aww. It's like the first stop on our trip today. It's going to be Land of the Tiger. It does look a little bit busy near the enclosure but I'm pretty sure we'll be alright to get a view of them at some point. Just have to queue up and be patient. 
So just around the animal enclosures, they've kind of like boxed off areas, keep your distance, signs there asking you not to touch the windows. There's not much to see in here. Rose on the floor telling you to keep to the left when you're crossing over the bridge. Oh, just walked into a branch. <laughs> so we're just headed into Wild Asia. First time in my life I've ever seen a queue for the Lorikeet Lagoon. Yeah, we're going to give Lorikeet Lagoon a miss. I mean, there's a queue anyway, but I don't really like birds. I mean, I don't mind them, but I don't want them flying around my head, so we're not going in there. Uh, I think we're just going to head straight through Wild Asia because I see nothing's open. Maybe head down and see um, the rainforest area that's just it's due to open this year, see um, if there's any animals in there. Sorry, I'm getting water in my eye. It's really, really raining here. It's typical. We've had a heat wave all week. One day we booked to come to Chesington. Showers! Oh! <laughs> See nothing's going to be open, but we're going to head into the new rainforest just to see what the layout of it is, see the new rides. Obviously nothing's going to be going round, but just to give us an idea of what uh, is available for when the theme park opens on the 4th of July. Oh, so there's the treetop hoppers that used to face towards the arena. They've flipped it round so it faces this way and giving it a bit of a re-theme. <laughs> The soundtrack in this area is really cool. You hear all like, the jungle animals and stuff. So this area is obviously uh, designed for the younger explorers. Oh look, they're testing the um, river rafts. Let's have a little look. Oh look, isn't it Diddy? So the boats are like little crocodiles. We'll just sit here for a minute and we'll uh, see if we can see a boat come down the drop. Here comes a splash! Woo! Oh, it's quite a big splash for a little boat actually. Oh, this looks fun. I don't think I'm going to get my bum inside one of those boats, but Harry will enjoy it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Just come across uh, one of the uh, quick service restaurants that's open. So the Just Chicken near the old Ramesses Revenge is open. So it looks like they've got like a one-way system and it's takeaway only. And this is the construction wall. <laughs> so this is where Ramesses Revenge used to be. And um, we visited here uh, Halloween last year and we did the like one last ride on Ramesses. So I'll put a link to that video somewhere in here as well. So we're just heading down to where Zufari is, obviously that's not operating but we'll see what animals we can see from down here. And um, just here is where the flying Dumbos used to be before it was relocated so I wonder if they're going to use that maybe for the queue line of the new drop tower that's replacing Ramesses Revenge. Well so far we've been to uh, the land of the tigers, we've been to wild Asia and now we're halfway around Wanyama village and reserve. Haven't seen any animals yet, I feel like Dr Malcolm in Jurassic Park, it's like you know when he says oh uh, you're actually going to have some dinosaurs on this dinosaur tour. I'm kind of like, we're actually going to have some animals in this animal park. <laughs> oh, hang on, there's some kind of big bird coming up, so we'll show you that. <laughs> we have seen an animal. A hornbill, <laughs> apparently. I'm not very, oh, look, there's one. He's come to say hello. And he's one. Oh, my God, he's huge. Look at him flapping his wings. He's saying hello, Harry. Oh, there we go. It is a southern ground hornbill. There he is. See him up there waving to you. Yay, we've finally seen some animals. <laughs> oh, Neil's getting excited. He's seen a goat. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> oh, look. Hello. Oh, they've got the right idea. I found the only shelter in the park. So one thing you can't usually do when the park's normally open is go through to the hotel area because uh, they've got like a big sort of grassy area where you can sometimes see like zebras and the giraffes and things. So we're going to head down there and see what we can see. You can see right over in the distance there under that shelter there's quite a few of the zebras. Can't see any of the giraffes unfortunately. But that's kind of like the area that you go through when you're on the Zufari ride. Like walk, walk <laughs> right, so Harry thinks they're gazelles. 
I haven't got a clue. I know they're not gazelles, but what are those brown animals? See them just to the side of the gi uh, giraffes? This is a really bad wildlife video, isn't it? <laughs> to the left of the zebras. I'm not sure what those brown animals are. <laughs> but yay, more animals. <laughs> So I need to come up here to film the penguins because it is quite busy down there so if you can't hear much because of the music it's very loud but you can see the penguins I'd like to think that's one large group and not just a load of people not social distancing but I'm not entirely sure <laughs> just managed to get a little bit of a, a window to see the penguins a bit closer up but uh, this is the first experience we've got of people not social distancing, people touching the glass. So as much as Chesington are doing all they can to keep people safe, you can't help the general public, unfortunately. As we've just popped over to Sea Lion Bay, you can see one of them just there. I think the others are out the back. Oh, there's another one there. honestly watch sea lions all day long. I just love their little characters, they're so cute. Woo, there they go. away from the sea lions and we were going to do the trail of the kings to so see you know the lions, all the big cats and the gorillas. But look at the queue. I mean it's raining. We've seen them quite a few times before. Yeah. Um, not sure we're going to do this today. All the way around there. Oh my goodness. So they've got like a queue line set up inside around the back of the Gruffalo. And all the way down there. So I don't think we're going to do the Trail of the Kings. I mean, no, it's way too busy. The hot dog seems to be open as well. So that's good. And it hasn't got too much of a queue. And we were just down by the lodge gate where the coffee and donut stand is. And the queue was horrific. Um, but yeah, if you want a hot dog, not too much of a queue. Just come into the gift shop and no queue to get in, which was good. And they do ask that you wash your hands before you come in. They give you a basket. Uh, it's a one-way system around the shop and they've made a lot more space as well. So you can social distance, which is really good. I'm going to flip the camera around now so you can have a look and see what merchandise is available. Huge wall of plushies there. Looks like those are all £15. see how much space there is in the shop now compared to how it used to be. They've also asked that if you're um, look at, you can look but please don't touch anything. If you do touch, take it over to the counter and they'll keep it into quarantine uh, just, just to make sure that, uh, you know, to keep control of coronavirus. They've got some new Elmer merchandise because obviously they've rebranded the um, Dumbo ride now. So you've got drinks bottles there, sort of looks like building blocks. Some cute little plushies and some rattles. I should really buy that umbrella to be honest, it's horrible weather today. I've got some Chesington merch there, so we've got some uh, shopping bags, notepads, drinks bottles, postcards. Probably one of the last things we're going to do is say hello to Elma, <laughs> the old flying Dumbo's ride or flying jumbos ride I think it was called actually. So we just had a paint job basically and changed the centrepiece which is a little bit small but it's cute. So you've got Elmer the patchwork elephant up there. And all of his little elephant friends around the, out uh, around the outside. We've just come across this area here, the Adventure Point Riders. So it looks like it's going to be some kind of like kiddie car area. It's a shame really though because this used to be just like a big grassy area where they had the jeep in the middle and they used to decorate it at Halloween so it's a shame that's not going to be here but at least there's another attraction coming in for the younger children by the looks of it.
so we're on our way out of Chesington. We were literally in there for an hour and a half. It was really quick getting around the park. It wasn't too busy, um, but when you got to say the penguin enclosure and Trail of the Kings, that's where people got silly. Not very much social distancing, kids touching the glass, parents not managing it, that kind of thing. So it was a bit frustrating and perhaps Chesington should have maybe some extra staff in those areas just to try and remind people, because clearly the signs don't always work. But generally we felt pretty safe there. The shop was really well managed. I only really wore the mask uh, around the penguins and, the tra um, and near the sea lion bit actually, and in the shop because we were indoors. Um, but yeah, all in all it was a really good visit. We got to have a look at the new rainforest area, which was I think, a really good uh, new addition to Chesington. Obviously it's geared towards younger children, um, but uh, Chesington is a family park, so I think it will fit in really nicely. So we're gonna go home, sort of, uh, chill out for the rest of the day. Uh, but we hope you enjoyed uh, this adventure and we'll see you again soon. Bye!